everybody, it's Amalia from Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia, and I'm here today as an artist in residence on the Imagine Crafts channel. I'll be using this butterfly lace stamp from Brutus Monroe to make some stunning cards today. And uh, I'll be using some Versamark, and I'm opening up a brand new stamp pad, crisp and clean, like a the day it was born <laughs> and I'm going to be using Versamark to stamp translucent images of this butterfly stamp onto my black paper. If you're not familiar with Versamark, it is an oil-based ink, it's non-toxic and it's a watermark stamp pad that creates translucent uh, images and this is excellent for making background designs. And so I am using this today to heat emboss with some embossing powder. Now you saw me ink up the stamp and press the stamp down onto the paper and I just picked it up and it's a sticky ink so the paper actually stuck to the stamp and then I turned it and I wanted to rub my fingers all over it just to make sure that um, the whole image got stamped out. Now I'm doing it again, I'm stamping out another image. I'm gonna stamp out a total of four images and uh, what I forgot to do and I'm doing now is I'm using anti-static powder and this helps with um, having the embossing powder stick only to where it's supposed to stick. So if there's any oils on the card from your fingerprints or from your hand, uh, that'll neutralize that and it'll neutralize any static. And I'm doing the same thing here. I brought the stamp down and now I'm lifting it up again and I'm just smoothing it out making sure that um, it made contact with the with the stamp. Uh, I do this for all of the images. So I've stamped the butterfly lace image in watermark Versamark ink four times on this piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock. You can see the impression, the image, uh, but we're going to take some emboss embossing powder in iridescent opaque. It is a white base with iridescent glitter in it, and it is fabulous, especially against this black cardstock. So I've got a coffee filter underneath my paper, so that's gonna catch any of the extra embossing powder. And I'm just going to pour it on just one of the images. This little packet is really perfect to pour from and to pour back into. Uh, it's easy to make it precise pouring and it's just the perfect amount of uh, embossing powder. Uh, I've covered the whole image. Now I'm gonna pour it out onto the um, coffee filter so that I can pour it back into my package. And I just grabbed a, a paintbrush that I keep off to the side to get any spare bits. And I'm using the back of the paintbrush just to tap off any excess. This worked out really great. There wasn't a lot of sticking to the paper of extra um, powder. And I'm even taking some powder and going over again some spots that I missed. And just tapping off uh, any extra so it doesn't sit in places that it doesn't need to be in. And I'm just making sure that I got all of my spaces covered. Again, tap off gently and use your brush if anything sticks. Isn't this beautiful? I love the iridescent quality of this and I'm just using the brush to wipe away any tiny extras, but this did such a great job. There's not a lot of extras uh, of sticking to the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and put the leftover embossing powder back into the container so I could use it again. Now I've got my heat gun started and I'm testing it out to make sure it's nice and hot. Let it run for a while and make sure it gets nice and hot. Then I start at the back of the paper to get the paper warmed up and then I bring it to the front. And then sometimes I go back to the back again, back to front, back to front. I just wanna make sure that my paper doesn't warp. And uh, good quality paper, heavyweight paper, sometimes it doesn't matter. Um, so I do this with all of my paper. And look how that looks when the embossing powder melts and it's just, it's like magic. I'm gonna try another one of the embossing powders. This one's called Valentine. I also have Hologram that I haven't used yet. And then there's Blue Icicle. And the white one I used is called Iridescent Opaque. 
I'm going to do the same thing with the this red powder that I did previously with the white powder. I pour it exactly where I want it to go. Then I shake off the excess onto my coffee filter so I can put the excess back into the package to use again. And if you find any spots are missing, go ahead and pour some more embossing powder on and gently tap off the excess. Back with the heat gun and we are transforming that powder into embossing. And this is so much fun to do, to see the transformation. Uh, and this is absolutely gorgeous. I love that sparkle. I love the sheen. I love the iridescence. I'm making sure to put the rest of that powder back into the container so that I have plenty for next time. These are the embossing powders that I used. This is iridescent opaque emboss embossing powder, blue icicle emboss embossing powder, and also Valentine emboss embossing powder. I also found a gold in my stash and I ended up using that as well. So I went ahead and cut up my eight and a half by 11 paper and I'm gonna show you what cards I made next. The first one is the white one that we did together. And you can't see it on camera, but in person, there is a lot of sparkle and shine in here. I can see all the colors. I see green, I see blue and lavender. I see yellow and red, and it is sparkly and I love it. Even if it's just plain white, it's fabulous. Uh, this is the red one that we did together and it shows up pretty well on camera all the different colors that are coming through and the sparkle and the shine. This thing looks like it's on fire. <laughs> and for this one, I chose the sentiment for all that you do. The first one you can see was you are a blessing to me. Then the next one was the icicle blue and the powder came out really bright blue and it was a lovely blue color. But when uh, I put the heat embossing on it, it completely changed color. It's more of a navy and the navy against the blue is not a very big contrast, but look at all of that color. There's a rainbow of color uh, on that card because of that blue icicle embossing powder. And this is the gold embossing powder that I found in my stash. Uh, it came out great against the background. Versamark works with any kind of embossing powders. And um, yeah, those are my four cards and I think they came out super. This is a great stamp set and some really good quality Versamark ink and embossing powder that I used. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click thumbs up and leave a comment below because I definitely love hearing from you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to Imagine Crafts for having me on their channel. And um, bye, everybody.